What if it's just no. random happened? I want to. I want to know that too. I want to know if it's random, if and if all of this was just a mistake. I want to know that too. Random doesn't necessarily mean a mistake. It's just random. Is it possible to know what, what, but not why. Well, explain um, the random. Explain the random a little bit. Was. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason for it. It just happened. Why? That's. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to mess with you, sorry. Okay, well, okay. we don't even know, for the person that said, is it impossible to know what, um, but not know why, or something like that, we don't know either of those things. We don't know what we are or why we're here. That's true. We disagree. And uh, all we know so far is that it could have been random, most likely. If I go out and I get into a bar fight and I get shanked, I don't know necessarily what stabbed me, but I know I've got, or why they stabbed me, but I know, I know I've got a knife in my gut. So it is possible to know, but, but not why. So why would that, why is it such a illogical conclusion to hold that about the universe? Well, yeah, you're right. It is possible um, because that is the situation we're dealing with. We're here, but we don't know how we got here or why we're here. But then the fact that but people we know aren't what, where where what here is. We don't even know what here is. And the fact that majority of people are not concerned with that, doesn't that bother you? Because wouldn't you want to know what's really going on? I was gonna say exactly the opposite. I don't see why anybody cares. What well it, it depends on life? it goes back to what I said about your perception and the lens that you use to view reality. For some people politics and sports is, is what matters to them. That's what their reality is. For other people, they actually want to know yeah. what the meaning of existence is. Why? What are you going to get uh, out of it? Do I need to know why my dog walked into the room and laid down? Or do I only need well, to know that my dog because, walked into the room? Because down? it gives your life meaning. It gives you a purpose to exist when you know why you exist. Yeah, I so, guess that's the part I understand. How does that give you meaning? When nothing else does. Because if you know the reason why you're here, then it gives your life a purpose. But how does that change the way you see it? Um, the same way that Flat Earth changed the, the way people think about um, God and creation, it made people realize that if, if the Earth is the only thing that exists, if we are the most important thing in reality, then you know, that, that changes a lot. In your paradigm, it's not the same as you being um, in an infinite universe where you're insignificant and you don't matter. Do, so do you believe in a creator? Bit? Sorry, mate. I thought you were done. Um, uh, do you no, I, don't, a... I don't. I don't believe in a creator. No. And you wouldn't consider yourself religious at all? No. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. So, what are you? Yeah, I thought I got that feeling from you. So, what are you leaning towards? Uh, or you just you don't have no lean. Um, I try to just be on the fence because when you lean towards something, you need to have a valid, rational reason to do that. I don't have any substantial evidence to support that there is a creator or that God exists, so I I tend not to. to lean do you, Do you think that. there's more support showing that it's just all random? It just happened randomly. Out of there, the there is evidence for that. Yeah, there certainly is. Evidence so you that. would be leading towards that then, I suppose. Where, I could, where's... but then you could. There's no reason why a creator wouldn't create a random universe. Well, that then it wouldn't. That, that wouldn't. That wouldn't. I don't know if that's where's random. The, where's the randomness? Exactly. You're in where it. Is the randomness? You, you're in it. No, I'm in. You're, uh, you're in it. Order. You're in the reality I'm created from randomness. No, I. I yeah, reality is not really random. Really it's really very. It's very predictability um, created from randomness. No, you, uh, they oppose each other. They is random. Each other. No, no everything is predict. Everything's predictable. Everybody in here is predictable. When you eat That's something, right. could you predict that I'm about to ask around. Babs? How does he think he could possibly know the answers to these questions he's asking about existence when? 
simply looking at sunrise and sunset and everything else we observe about the world around us that tells us it's a globe is not allowed because it's some kind of a construct, a human construct, and we can't determine something so simple as the shape of the earth, but the ultimate meaning of existence and the origin of life in the universe can be knowable to him. I'm baffled by that legitimately. Would you like well, to answer I never, that? Well, um, I never invalidated any of those approaches to interpreting reality. Those are certainly yeah, valid. Off. Later. <laughs> the, they're certainly valid. And I never invalidated them at all. I don't know what you're talking about. I did not invalidate them. And even in your paradigm where Earth is a globe, those questions still stand. You still don't know um, what the meaning of existence is or why you exist, even on the globe model. You still don't have answers to those questions. Yeah. And that's so I don't see most... why you're trying to conflate um, the shape of the Earth with the meaning of existence, because they're not, they're not correlated at all. I, I think it's more uh, points more to your, your train of thought. Than anything else but but one of the most bizarre things is that people exist we are existing but we don't know what's even happening to us don't you think that's strange we're here it depends on what you mean by that we do know we, what's happening to us to some degree but we're the ones who exist right so we're the most qualified to understand what it is. Right. Well, we can only... the certain things that we still... we just still don't know. I mean, there's, there's people who haven't been born yet. Like, they're, who knows if, they're, if you're aware before you're born. The, the, that's where it gets more interesting. Um, I wasn't. What's going to happen when you die? Does it ever end? Do you really do you have die? Any recollection of your existence before you were born, Mark? I don't. Some people do. Well, the more and more I learn about reality, the more it starts becoming uh, darker. Like, like this is a really dark place because, for, as far as my understanding of what consciousness is, I've heard that it is the result of mechanical processes. So your consciousness is the result of, of things that are happening mechanically in your brain. It's not, it's not that your consciousness is like an outside entity that's controlling um, your body. So the ultimate conclusion for that means that when you die, your consciousness also dies. So there's no afterlife. There's no um, reincarnation. All of that doesn't apply to that paradigm. And that's really sad to think that. I think if it were really true, people should start living. Because if you're going to die, and that's it, and it's over, lights out, never to come back, never to go on, start enjoying it a little bit. Try to. Because it doesn't matter anyway. You're just going to vanish. You're going to disappear. A ghost. You're not even dust. Hey, and I think that is an important a point to think about that if you only live now then this existence is extremely important everything that happens to you and everything you do has a lot more value if this is the only time you get to experience this that's what i was going to basically get to but i was going to ask you but if that were the case that sad way which you described it uh what wouldn't your legacy be uh one way that you could live on like one way, you, I guess you wouldn't really experience it, but you could die happy knowing that you've uh, you've left a legacy that will keep living, right? Yeah, that certainly is true. A lot of the people in here are going to be forgotten once they're gone. But if they did something substantial, um, invented something, you would be remembered iconically for a long time. Well, I think I think ultimately it's having a positive. Having a positive influence, having a positive uh, net effect on the world, not really, not really being remembered, but just as long as you know you did something. Right. Yeah. Your contributions can have a positive effect on society at large. A lot of people that invented things did that. A lot of their inventions um, 
have contributed a lot of the stuff that we appreciate in society right now. I mean, something it is that I, I found kind of interesting is you, is you kind of go where, where the evidence leads you. <laughs> Not really, because I would be a glober if that was the case. <laughs> you know where I was going. It was fairly well telegraphed, but yeah. <laughs> right, right. But I mean, I have, I have my own reasons that you would say are um, unreasonable for still holding the position that I do. But I, they're valid to me. They're subjective to me. Yeah, but I mean, all, all reasons are subjective to the person if they're your reasons, by definition. Exactly. You know, and, and, I, and I don't have a problem with that. It's, it's, it's when people make the assertion of something without a rationale behind the assertion that I find strange. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. It's it's the um, attitude that the person takes when they're having a debate and, and taking a particular position. It's the level of arrogance someone has. In particular, if they're wrong, it just makes them look like a dick. Like, if you're wrong and yeah. you're being arrogant about it, you just look like an asshole. A little bit of irony there. Yeah. Well, Curb wasn't even here to listen to what my response was. To... I did listen. And you started off with a fucking lie. If not, explain what the point of dismissing the observations is by using this, well, it's a construct. That kind of bullshit. Tell me. I wasn't... Go ahead. Oh, okay, I see stand what you're saying. Your, stand on your I... soapbox and, and tell us how virtuous and honest you are now. I understand what you're saying now, right? Um, what, what my point was is that we have subjective constructs that we use to interpret reality. That was the point that I was making. I wasn't invalidating what the observations were. I was just pointing out that fact. And a lot of you accept me. So within your constructs of what we've accepted, the Earth is a globe. The constructs within, that within we've those, accepted, within that those is reality. Within those that, subjective constructs, yes. Yes, and those subjective constructs are what we use to describe the physical reality we live in. So the Earth is physically, in reality, a globe. Um, not objectively. Come Only on, if mate. you're working within that construct. Come on, mate. So I just said that. 45 <laughs> degrees angle of elevation is subjective. Um... It's subjective within that paradigm, yeah. It's what? It's subjective to, because you're working with something that's been agreed upon. You're working with, with something that, that had, the, the source of that knowledge was subjective to begin with. Because it had to start off with someone um, subjectively coming up with a way of measuring things and everybody else accepting that um, paradigm. Oh, come on, Babs. I mean, look, regardless of the number halfway between horizontal and vertical, 45 degrees, it doesn't matter the number, the unit, or anything like that. It's still halfway between. That's true, yeah. That is objectively true. Like, how is that not true? I, I agreed with you. I said it's objectively true. Just like sunrises and sunsets are objectively true. But what, what is also true is that the means of measuring these things are subjective. That doesn't make the observations um, false. It just means that the ways that you're interpreting them are subjective. They're objective. So you're trying to chop... Chuck... Sorry, go on. Yeah. Subjective and objective need to be removed from this discussion <laughs> because they're being pissed all over and just yeah, you, you, fucking sodomized. You're trying to use them as some sort of tool to chop down the proverbial tree, aren't you? That everything no, I'm not, I'm not using them as a yeah, way yes, of invalidating are. any of the globe earth predictions. I'm not. That's no, but you're, try, you're, trying to, you're trying to use it to construct some sort of side argument 
that's um, designed to deconstruct the whole thing that we've got. How am I deconstructing what you've got? By, by, I'm not. It's like a house of cards. You're trying to pull the bottom cards out. No, I'm just looking at it. You're a very smart person, right? That's okay, but we're going to determine the objective meaning of life. Right. So Get the fuck out. The you got to be kidding life. me. The meaning of life. The, the problem I've got with where you're going with that space pipe is, is when we had the discussion and, you know, granting axioms, etc. He said, no, I can't grant those axioms. So how can you say we objectively have a sunrise, sunset when you're not Honestly, I, I, I want to continue with, uh, with um, curves conversation. Right. Is, well, the, the reason I can say that we have an objective sunrise and sunset is because we don't need to Hold the perform. fuck up. Hold the fuck up for a second. Branch, branch, let it flow, man. Come on, branch, you got to let it flow, man. Yeah, I got it. Right. Thanks, go, go, go ahead, branch. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, mean, I mean, I got it. Let it flow. Right. So the, the reason that I say sunrises and sunsets are objective is because you don't have to perform math to make that observation. You just see it as is. That's why it's objective. It's... But, Babs, to be fair, you're telling us that it's not as we see it at the same time. When did I say that? When you denied um, what we were going through with like triangles and everything and how the angles would work on a flat earth versus a globe. Oh, that was a really long time ago. You seem to be holding on to yeah. things that happened a really long time ago. That, that what have I heard, dip, what have I heard different from you? What have I no, ever heard different when from we, you since then? When have we had an argument about angles to Polaris recently? When has that happened recently? Because it hasn't. You, you don't. Yeah, if you notice, I, I don't talk about these things as much as I used to. So why should I think anything has changed in your mind in the way that you go about things? Well, you should because you haven't communicated with me in a long time. So you wouldn't know whether So I should assume anything. you've changed your mind. You could assume that. Right. I should just assume. I should you assume, could, you could assume it, but you don't, you don't know around it. Reasonable. But it's fair for you to think that I still hold the same opinions. It, it's fair for you to think that. Right. So come on to me for that. Right, yeah. You're not making sense, Babs. As usual. Go ahead, right. I'll try to stay out of this. <laughs> Can I ask a question about your objective sunrise-sunset proposal? Yeah, go ahead. If we objectively see the same sunrise and sunset, why is your sunrise and sunset not gray? Mine is. Not gray? I'm colorblind. I see in shades of gray. Why oh, right. Your, That's why, why I... Why am I told that the sunset is bright orange and yellow? Objectively, what well, I see I, in your if you, it should be gray. Well, perhaps you weren't here early on in the discussion, but I did um, provide a caveat where I said that depending on what your abilities are, given that you don't have any physical disabilities... How you interpret realities is generally going to be uniform across the board for everybody. But your shade of orange isn't the same as what Curve sees. Sorry to throw you under the bus, Curve. Uh, How do so, you know that? And orange is a new black. That has it has been it has been tested and repeated in labs. Bayer does it about every year with house paint. So if we had a color, if we we're all looking at a color, like let's say there was a sample set group of people that were being tested on, on this idea, do they all see a different color? Given that they, they were not disabled, they didn't have any color blindness or any issues that would cause that to happen, would they interpret it differently? No. Exactly. The only reason that you're interpreting reality differently is because you're colorblind. And I made no. that caveat um, initially when no, I started only, this the, No, no. Not no. quite correct, Space Pope, because um, that there's a different color perception between men and women, especially when it comes to different shades of color. 
um, and also people who can see colors that most people can't. Again, slightly different shades of color, but they can distinguish between the two. And this is one of the things that has been tested. Um, okay, so between the different, different. It's very okay, I'm agreeing with you. Between the different guys stuff. in general, just don't give a fuck about colors. Between it's male and female, we're perceiving colors. Like, you could say that there, women are perceiving different spectrums that we're not, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to interpret things the same way. If I show a woman a, a purple painting, she's going to see a purple painting. But if we show that woman, say, you know, 25 different shades of blue um, and, you know, 70 percent of women can see all 25, you know, 15 percent can only see 22 and, you know, the rest can only see 20. That's right. then starting to show a variation in, in the interpretation. The same if we take the color purple well, and then okay, we okay, spread so, out we so, use men and women and that, then we start looking at different age groups and we find there, that there is quite a spectrum a of interpretation of what a particular shade or color may be. Right. And there's a, big, there's a major reason behind this. It's the major reason behind this. Like girls, and I hate to say girls, but women used to forage. Right? They, they, Throughout evolution, right, they got keen senses into how to forage and, and how to pick the right berries and shit like that, right? Whereas men were more hunting. And just because of evolution, men evolved skills of hunting and women evolved skills of identifying plants and, and different things like that through foraging. And that's just the way shit was. Right. right, and that's why well, there's, there's, today's there's something today. that I just realized that is wrong with the example that was provided. It's not analogous to what we were discussing about objectivity. Um, in, in terms of sunrises and sunsets, it doesn't matter what color the sun is; it's still going to rise and set. So, I agree that um, d depending on certain things, we may interpret reality differently. But there's still objectivity. There's still certain things that that never change, regardless of um, whether you have certain abilities or not. It's not about abilities, bro. Look, women evolved to be more, um, if you want, color centric than men did, right? Because of certain reasons of how we survived. Okay, so if women can see different spectrums of light, does that change whether the sun rises it, or it's sets? not about it's not about seeing different spectrums of light. It's about being more receptive to them. Okay. What color is your car? Yeah. Tell me men 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 don't care about color. What color is your car? My car's white. You sure it's not pink? Oh, it's it's actually like pretty white. Mine's oh, black. Hmm. Black and white. Very male colors. No, I like new white orange. cars. I like white cars because when you piss on a white car, you can see the piss. That's why I picked a white car. You you shouldn't be in a car because you're intoxicated. What are colors? No, I, I drive my silver car when I'm intoxicated. I don't drive my white car. What, what do you mean, what are colors? We, we shouldn't go there. Exactly what I asked. What are colors? What is color? What is color? Who, who defined? What is color? Define red for me, Moral. Red is actually the absence of um, green and blue. <laughs> mm. Green is, blue is. Look, cut to the chase. These things look the way that they do for various reasons. We have labels that we stick on things uh, according to how we perceive them. Whether your blue looks like my blue or not, you take uh, a piece of blue paint off of your wall 
and take it down to the store. And most of them these days have a machine that will use a computer to read that color and mix and paint that color. It will match, regardless of how you perceive it. It will be the same because the computer can objectively determine what it is. How's that? It'll look, it may look different to you than it does to me, but it will look the same. It will match. So what you're saying is We're that the computer really results. right now is that's my point. How do we perceive colors? Big fucking deal. If I'm standing right next to you and we're both looking at the sun, guess what? We're both seeing it in the same fucking place. We're reading a tape measure together. We both see 12 feet in the same place on the fucking tape measure. Now get real. Well, yeah, that's that part is undeniable that we are looking at ob objectivity. That is undeniable. But then, you get real. What I was pointing out is that the ways that we're interpreting that is that the tools that we're using have a subjective source. That doesn't make them wrong, but that that still is factual. Because a tape a tape measure isn't something that just exists in objective reality. It had to be created from an idea. Yeah. Okay, do you feel better now? You feel like you got... <laughs> a, little, a little bit, yeah. Of, uh, I don't lower, get the point. Got a lowercase w out of this, Babs? Well, well, tape measures don't grow on trees. Rather than a w, give, give him a couple of trees. Actually, it depends if I use a branch as a standard unit, and then I can use that as a measure. So, yeah, they can use it where on trees. Well, how that about two Vs in? First... How about a couple of Vs curved in lieu of a W? I feel like I'm talking to a couple of Vs. Well, I'm not trying to get a W. If that's the impression you guys have. No, I don't get that impression. I I just don't understand what you're getting at. Really? I do. I get that impression from you we all need... the time. That that may have been true about me in the past, but if you've noticed, I'm I'm actually trying to learn nowadays. No, your little you really? comeback about the tape measure seems to be you're just trying to salvage some sort of a yeah, but I'm right about something. No, I just felt like you had a misunderstanding of what I was it's saying. Relevant was subject. <clears throat> yeah, people really? make tape measures. So real, what? Real question What's though. The point of it? Why would a young the man come? Why would a young man come to a room like this to learn? Well, let me ask question? you this question, bro. Why would you ask questions when you have no interest in answers? Uh, well, he was talking about in intellectual stimulation before. Well, well regardless, it, hold on, Mar regardless of how toxic this place can be at times and how toxic some of the members of this Discord can be, I still have really good conversations behind the scenes with a lot of these guys, and I do learn a lot of things, especially a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about right now I did learn from, from the people in here. I, really? I tend to hang around places where I feel welcome, and unfortunately, for now, this is like the only place where I'm welcome. I'm banned on 24-7. I'm banned from Emma's, and um, yeah, like I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna hang out in places where I don't feel like I'm welcome. Do you want to come back? Banned, there? banned from Emma's. Do you want to come back there? She's not just. I, picking, I don't think that people you want me back there. I'll get you an unban if you want to come back. I mean, so how does sunset work if the Earth is flat? That's what we're trying to figure out. The Earth's not flat. So you've seen the explanation that does work and makes sense, but that's not going to work. We need something different, right? Well, I personally haven't said that that's not going to work or invalidated any of that. I'm just trying to figure out how to make flat Earth work. 
I know that the flow of right, art. But you're not accepting it. what you know about. But yeah, you're I'm not. Choosing, I'm choosing not to accept what is already accepted. And what you understand would work on a spherical Earth. Um, based on what has been presented, yes, it would work. So you need to look for something different, though. Because it doesn't suit your bias. It's not that I'm looking for something to suit my bias. I'm just trying to um, come up with substantial evidence to prove flat Earth is what I'm trying to do. Okay, that's not a bias. Okay. Well, it's a bias if I would be denying um, the globe model and saying that it, it's completely impossible and it's a lie. Which is something that I don't do. Okay. But you, so you, you understand and accept that it works on the globe, but for some reason, you still think it's needed to figure out a way for it to work on the flat Earth, even though you no longer deny what we talked about with the angles and the measurements. You still need to find a way to make it work on flat Earth. No, you don't. That's correct, yeah. No, you don't. Don't listen to him. That's wrong. Well, well that's exactly what, with what I'm doing, though. I'm trying to find a way to make these observations work. And it, it has to do with me, first of all, understanding how they work on a specific model. Then I can, I can break that down and, and try and figure out what methods are being used. It, there's certainly value to doing that, regardless of what people have to say about it. I am learning by doing it. Hmm. I mean, wouldn't wouldn't it be better to just break the heliocentric model? Um, I've tried to, but okay. in all honesty, a lot of a lot of the reasons why I disagreed with the heliocentric model had to do with misunderstandings. And once some of those things were explained to me um, in a way that did make sense, I kind of understood what my misunderstandings were. But that still doesn't mean that I've become a glober. It just means that I've chosen to figure out a different approach to this argument rather than um, the, the current approach, which is denial of everything. Well, do you think heliocentrism is breakable? Um, I've, just because I can't do it, I shouldn't say that it's impossible, but I haven't been able to do it. So unless someone can, can show me a valid way of doing it, then I'd be on board with that. But all, all the flat earthers are doing right now is just looking at videos, NASA videos, and saying, oh, this NASA video looks weird. That's not a substantial debunk of the globe. It really isn't. There's a lot right. more going on than Props that. Props perhaps for that. No. No. Well, l listen, yeah. this, this is one way you can do it, Babs. Look, look at what the claim is. It's, it's a sun-centric solar system okay okay with with orbiting bodies now right. the observation doesn't match what the claim is for a start and you have what, to what deny observation? the observation of earth rotation and orbit and the the speeds they're saying the sun's traveling at and yet then you've got the concentric circles with time-lapse photography None of them match. All matches. What so right, right there, you've got it like on lock. What concentric circles? Trouble about has Star Trail like seventy three Star Trail videos in the south. Like right. it's got ones with the equator, little bits of the north, like. They make perfect concentric circles. That, okay. That is, okay. That is explained by the... I mean, that's what you'd expect on the globe, given the motions. No, it doesn't. Uh, it really is a promise. Why, why do you say no? It, it, you can't promise because they it's don't. The he said that trouble about in the southern hemisphere observes concentric circles. Yeah. Um, isn't that what you would expect to see, though, if Earth was rotating? But it's rotating and orbiting, and they say all the stars 
are moving and the sun's moving as well, but nobody can see any of those motions. So, so you're trying to figure out why we can't detect all the other motions no. that are happening. No, then there's no motion. Oh, just the like... only motion is the sun and the moon and the star plates. And they make the star, they the make stars concentric time, circles. Like, well, like 50 years. And that doesn't match what the claim is. That's oh. known now by many people. Bro, it really does outside matter. of... So, flat Earth, whatever flat so Earth. So why, is. if if that's the case, Mo, and you say, oh well, things don't change in the sky when we orbit the sun, why do we get seasonal constellations? That doesn't make sense. That's a different question. No, no, it is actually the same about. question. Um, no, because not. you're you're saying, well, we should see all these stars moving around in weird ways. Well, no, because the, we 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 say they're a long way away. That's why it works in the in the model that we. No, have. no, no. No, and, don't. And you're not going to drag me back into sun, heliocentrism. The view. I'd like to finish my point. As we go around the sun, the view of the sky changes. So Orion, for me at the moment, is setting. And within see, this is another month and this a half, is what happens below the horizon. Chris, what what you do is you start making sense. You bring logic to the argument. You you prize it right open. And what you, you met with is what happens in here. So this isn't the place to do it. You won't break the centrism. You've been addressed with a couple of rebuttals, Merle, and you haven't addressed them. You've just claimed victory. Trust, can I just do this? Let me just show you guys. Merle, I hear what you're saying, Merle. You're saying like, okay, you brought some, you actually did, you brought some logic and you're making some points. Okay, good point. You're saying, you guys say all these things are moving, and yet when we look at these concentric circles, they don't seem to be moving the way you say. And I see why you say that. There is an answer for that, and it's a good answer, and it explains why you don't see it. So I want to offer it to you because that's not me being rhetorical. It's me doing the same thing you just did. You brought some logic. Let me give you back some logic that will give you why it is. And the answer sure. is because they're so far away that the motions that they're doing aren't registering in any significant way over periods of days or weeks. or They only register over periods of decades. So like the, the stars are shifting, but they're shifting – in 50 year increment type things we we can we can sort of see the difference after 20 years 30 years you know that kind of thing we don't we can't see the difference really after a week or a month or a year and that's why they appear to be frozen even though they're not actually frozen mm -hmm. well i mean i i remember being shown the southern star constellations as a child like with my father with a mag light right. torch on top yeah. of a mountain on a starry, starry night. Yeah. They're still there. It's exactly the same. Yeah. They'll be there for hundreds of years. Like, <laughs> depends on where the star is. But like, um, we have some stars that'll stay, stay in position for 13,000 oh. years. We have some that are moving over, like, you know, they'll be in a different spot in, say, 50 years. It just depends exactly which one. Hey. Is your back? Where's that? Where's that? It's wrong. Hot mic. Where's that? Does anybody know why the YouTube is down? Branch might know. Branch. Could you put it back up again? Because I, I might need to get off of here real soon, and I want to listen to the rest of the conversation. I have, I have, I have messaged Branch. I haven't got an answer yet, so I'm not sure what's happening. There might be some other technical issues happening as well. Well, he's here right now. Can we just ask him to do it? Oh, right my now? God. I'm so sorry. I forgot I'm on fucking push your talk. No, no, yeah, my fault, oh, guys. The, the, that shit's fucking down. I can't put it back up. I apparently did some very bad boy thing, and it's taken down. Okay. It's, the stream is down for now. <laughs> oh, you mean somebody, somebody might have done something, huh? No, I don't, I don't think that's what he's saying. I think it's a technical thing. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, that's what I thought. He just he doesn't have access to it to get it up again. Yeah. Pardon the pun. Yeah, I, I, basically, I I did something. I just totally fucked it up, and it's pretty hard for me to get it back up right now. Okay. Without, <laughs> so um, I, I think by the time it's we're gonna have to recreate the entire server for us to get it back up. Oh my god! I really? Holding up? Yeah. Yeah, what did you do? What did you do? I mean, like, I I just fucked with Discord way too much than I should have. All right, bro. Um, can I suggest that in the future that um, 
it required two people to invoke the nuclear like the nuclear, option. Co- like the nuclear co- and if you want any for me if you want any more information about this ask jim all right fair enough all right so when we're dealing with people that are out struggling with uh the shape of the earth issue i think it might be a good idea to simplify the conversation when we're talking about stars and motion and all this stuff yeah and we're we're not concerned stop with stop pretending to be an expert moving. when you're not right it, it, you can it, also it, ask chemo it really Basically, doesn't matter if the earth chemo is rotating honestly what actually happened was this it doesn't chemo matter if the really sky's pissed. moving around he us fucking gem gem got pissed turn off the live stream and and that's what happened so Chemo was a little bitch. One thing that's true, no matter what, which way you want to view it, um, the sky maps to a sphere around a spherical Earth. This is objectively true. No, it's not. this is how it would map out. No, it's you can not. argue about what is doing the motion but there is relative motion that's undeniable and for well, the shape of if... the earth it doesn't matter which which is moving or if they're both moving this does not matter flat the earth shape of the earth is the polar... linchpin in most of these no. people's heads right now no the, when flat the earth was putting of flat earth in the is center. shattered shut up curved no. flat earth when was the putting polaris in of the flat center. earth is shattered no, then these Flat people Earth. will be motivated. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to possibly become a little bit more Shut up, reasonable. So now, Flat Maul, Earth put Maul, Flat you're Earth misbehaving put very Earth. badly, Merle. You're behaving very badly. Do you need a timeout, Merle? No, come on. You've had a lot of time to talk. I don't do this very often. And I'm not going on very long, and I don't give a fuck what Drust says about it. This point needs to be made. You guys go off too far in the weeds with these guys. Keep it simple. So, what's up, guys? We're back to Polaris in the center. It's a sphere, mate. That's what's All up. Right. So, Polaris is in one of the centers. Yeah. Hey, what's up, dog? What's up, Snoop Dogg? So, can I finish what I was saying now? So, Flat Earth puts Polaris in the center. Mistake. Now, Trouble About has 73 Star Trail videos on her channel. Go check it out, heliocentrists, because it's bunked. Flat Earth doesn't work. It's a straw man. Plenty of people have been raising that point. You can't put Polaris in the center because Polaris isn't the center. Who says Polaris is the center? Flat Earth did. Mistake. Mistake. Okay. Cool. So that sounds like a more of a, a flat earthy problem than a heliocentric problem. Because in the heliocentric, no, view, because that's the what so nicely explained. The heliocentrists um, so in no here issues. attack a straw man. Okay. And they have okay. done for years. You well, guys are too stupid to realize that. A lot of flat earthers make that kind of claim. So you're saying you no, straw man yourself? It's not basically. a straw man. It's not our no, I didn't straw man. I didn't make that. This argument for you. It's not attacking a straw man. Of course it is. You no, all know no, that. No, it's the argument from Flat Earth. You, now what Bullshit. you're putting up, you, what you're putting up is a different argument to that argument. No, yeah. We haven't heard what your argument is yet. Well, give me a chance to say it without gatekeeping. It's, okay. not, on, it's not going live. You gatekept me before, so go ahead. I won't gatekeep you. So all the people here have been around a long time and they know good and well that the flat earth model is a straw man. 
That's why they attacked it with such vitriol because they'd already won. They knew it was bullshit from the get go. Yeah. yeah. You created the straw man. I would agree. So, what, what's what's the right, what, what do you think is the alternative? Provided by the flat earth, um, by a number of flat earthers, let's not say it's something that all of them hold to, um, is yeah, it's rubbish. I agree with you. What's the right, what's the alternative, Mel? The alternative is that you have two celestial, what they call two celestial poles above us. And they turn, one turns one way, the other one turns the other way. And that falls in line with the equator on this place we're standing so, on. So what, where, where would the south pole point on the flat earth be? What's that? So I can go to the North Pole, and um, that will then be 90 degrees above me, you know, vertically above me. That's um, never been seen. If I go to the Celestial North Pole. And um, where, is, where is the Celestial South Polar Point on a flat Earth? It's, well, for, for a start, it's never been seen. Someone standing at the North Pole, point their camera up and... Polaris is directly you've above never seen it. We don't know that there's no one's ever done it. Okay, so can we just can we ask right, if we right. have that? Can that we not move exist. past this till we get an agreement tomorrow? Because I've seen him slightly tilted now. He is claiming ninety degrees straight up. Mel, what but what you're saying? Merle, what you're it saying? Seems a, like a big disagreement. What you're saying, Mel, doesn't reconcile with what's what we see in reality. I hate to do this to you, but can you do it? Can you update your model, or at least put a bit more detail in what you've presented a couple of years ago to uh, show us how it does or could reconcile with reality? Is that no. something you could do? No, because it's a conundrum. You can't. Yeah, you can't. You can't depict it at all. There's no, no it's way a that, There's no way of showing how there's this a vast, could work. There's a vast I don't understand, body of... man. Listen I don't understand. Me. I listen don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, well, and how listen, and then you will understand. I've been now, listening. No, listen. I've, I've been ahead. trying to help this room for a long time. Go flat ahead. Earth go doesn't, ahead. Go flat ahead. Earth doesn't Just exist. go ahead. I'm listening. Flat Earth doesn't exist. I know now, that's what you're saying. I've been saying that for years, right? What does exist is there's a stationary horizontal plane, which we call 3D. What's above us is another dimension. It's obvious. We can't go there. You and don't this know other why. dimension. I don't know why. You don't know if there's a vacuum of space. You don't know if there's Van Allen radiation belts. You don't know if there's dark matter. Or you've got stories, just right. like all of us. What about the sky plates? How, the sky plates how are there. They turn. Yes, yes, They're please, there. They Mills, can be filmed. Time-lapse photography. They're there. If Perfect we were to view, circles. if we were to view the Earth as a a infinitely large table, but somewhere on yeah. this table, let's just go ahead and place a round clock, and is somebody pouring coffee by any chance? I hope so. Um, so on this table, you place this round clock somewhere, and somewhere above this clock. Um, I'm using that for representation because you know where the numbers are on the clock. And above this clock, you've got two discs. One um, disc is centered above 12 o'clock. The other disc is centered above, say, 6 o'clock, diametrically opposed. And these discs spin. And these this is the heavens above that we see and this is why we see the rotation that we do i'm asking merle is this a fair representation of what you're trying to present i'm not trying to present anything i'm just talking about objective reality it is what it is Holy it behaves fuck. the way it behaves it operates on, the man. way it operates that's it i'm not a conspiracy theorist i'm not a tinfoil hat it was one of the most rational so Merle, people Merle, in the whole discussion. Was next time I try to ask a reasonable question, just mute me, please. 
No. <laughs> Go, no. You, you did the same for me. I, I, I claim the Earth is not in space. I'm, I claim we are not in the universe. We are in 3D on a plane, a plane of existence, the brick, the a physical reality made of God, organic matter, seeds and plant life, water, all that good stuff. This is going tits up if something doesn't change. This is I'm the truth. Globe, this is well, reality. This is re you can, yeah, we get it. that's your bottle. That's fine. Yeah. So this well, is like there's, one of there's, there's, this is like one of Dave's two Titanics. There's, there's Sorry, a trail taken at the, the speaking pole. truth. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's yeah. a yeah. trail taken at the pole with a ninety degree elevation to those stars. What pole? Uh, that one's done at the South Pole. The South Pole. Mm -hmm. What South Pole? The point that um, is directly below your second spinning point of rotation, Mel. What the fuck what's is in the frame at the bottom of the house? Oh, is that a selfie stick or what's that? Uh, How do you know where that was taken, you mongo? Hey, Mel, don't even insult. Come on. That's right. He has no arguments. Always left with his insults. But no, what is in that argument. image, though? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Out where of was that taken? Does it, that doesn't look like something taken from the South Pole. <laughs> or the north it could, pole. it could be northern it could be southern lights is the camera spinning or is the sky spinning so why is there south? something like uh, why is the ground in the image <laughs> it could it's be not. um what's it called uh Aurora that's, Aurora part, that's part of the mount that he's got in view that's all so the camera is taking the uh, picture of the mount while he stands at the South Pole. Yeah, I've posted the camera. website so you can go and have a look at what he's done. But you're talking and about the, um, that and guy. The he's making. The guy Robert Schwartz from this might get false as well. Don't know. Don't know who he is. This is a guy that spends lots of time in, in um, the yeah, Antarctic. Yeah, I think it's this guy then, maybe. Maybe he takes a lot, he takes a lot of videos and stuff. Is that the guy who's got the website from 1996? Uh, it's called Iceman at AntarcticAdventures.de. Let me see. Iceman's South Pole page. So this is where your link we'll, goes. Let's let's see yeah. exactly what it is. Yeah. Should be Arctic Adventures. So I'll, I'll I'll post it back to you, Josh. So when when he's standing there taking that, is he standing on the bottom of the globe? No, he's just standing below the point of celestial rotation, which we call the um, South Pole. So he's upside down while he's taking that, uh, right? I, I don't know, uh, mate. For I'm, not gonna sake, any, I'm not going to make any more what? claims. I mean, I'm saying on your flat Earth model, he seems to have gone to a point where I don't have a flat above Earth him model. is this point of, um, we've just been talking about a model. No, it is talking about reality, how it presents. Yeah, a model is just a description of reality, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're all walking so around you're, upright you're, you're on our feet reality, aren't you? on you're, a horizontal plane. That's reality. You're describing reality, Mel. You're not showing me reality, so it's a model. But you're going to claim water that doesn't, as it goes over the curve, it doesn't fall away. It doesn't flow. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, hey, someone's made an observation um, where he's got to put his camera up at 90 degrees and he can observe this south rotational point um, the same way we can at the North Pole. Um, and that's kind of interesting. That's, that's the point I'm making. So he's obviously been to a point where he can have that angle of elevation to look at that star trek. Hmm. All I'm going to say, Babs, is if you really want to progress <laughs> with this, you've got to get out of this room. That's how you're going to go further. You, you seem to not want to address my point, Mel. The, the intellectual giants aren't in here, trust me. Where should I go then? <laughs> Where should I go if I want to get better? Um, I'd actually go and talk to some people in some kind of space agency, like actual real space agents. Well, well, you it's could not go to that Queensland, easy to talk Babs. to those type of people. Your other option, well, you... Babs, is to go to Queensland. There might be a room for you there. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, you could, you're welcome here, but like, you, you could do it. I mean, you can, I can do it here in Australia. <laughs> yeah, I'd I love to come to, to Australia. To... In fact, I might do that in the near future. I mean, there must be a way we can, you're reasonable. Maybe I won't come because they'd probably, they'd want to talk to you probably more than me, but at least you could have a conversation, you know. It doesn't have to be confrontational, as you know. Yeah, I'm hey, totally up for it, man. Hey, yeah. hey, you can always do Zoom, bro. Just get a Zoom fucking thing going. You know? <laughs> well, what I would really enjoy doing right now is there are a bunch of things that I've put on hold, um, mainly because of COVID, but they're experiments that I've been meaning to do for a while. And I just like seeing what people's um, critiques are on the stuff that I do. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to continue okay, doing bro. that as okay, much bro, as I can. Bro. Right now, right now oh. we're talking about uh, my man Merle's shit. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, talk we're talking about Merle's shit. We're not talking about me. So carry on, Merle. Oh, well, yeah. I, I just want, <clears throat> listen, if the, if the roles were flipped, right? So say you're older than me, right? I'd want you to say what I'm saying to you right now, if it was flipped, I'd want, I'd want you to I look understand. out for me a little bit. You know what I mean? That's all it is. Because I want to um, see you. You, may, you may or may not. I understand where you're, you're coming from. You may or may not be genuinely concerned about me being here. But you shouldn't be worried, though, because like, I'm, I'm in a really good place mentally and physically. Like I'm, I'm having a lot of yeah. fun right now. Well, I'm not, I'm not concerned for your well-being in here, not at all, because I know you can handle yourself. I'm just saying if you want, because you talked about intellectuals. Yeah, and I, there's, another, there's another thing about this, bro. You guys need to fucking stop looking at this room as a place where it's like, you know, people need to give a fuck about your fucking um, general fucking psychological welfare and being shit like that, right? This is like nobody in the room actually has time for all of that shit. If you actually have problems, don't fucking hang out in this room, right? <laughs> Suicidal, get the fuck out. If you're fucking manic, fucking go somewhere else. If you're depressed as fuck, you know, do something that makes you happy. Well, or you could just get drunk as fuck and come in. Everybody's welcome yeah, here. There's well, a lot of manic. Do, just get drunk as fuck. Everyone is welcome here. There are lots of manic, um, depressed, psychotic people in here <laughs> that are only in here to use this as an emotional um, dumpster, pretty much. But that, oh, that doesn't think determine of the either. Springboards, uh, Babs. Not a dumpster. <laughs> springboards. Yeah, man, like, like just, just today, right? Today, I posted one little bitty thing. That was your mistake, mate. All the fuckers in the room. Causes some that other motherfuckers mistake. in the room, wakes them up, wakes them up, and fucking <laughs> makes them fucking throw <coughs> fucking major shit towards me. Makes you feel like shit about it, you know? It's bullshit. Yeah, I had some something similar happen to me earlier on this morning. I posted a meme of Scott Feach uh, that I kind of went overboard with, but yeah, I got a lot of retaliation for that. <clears throat> You're lucky you're still on the server, to be honest. Yeah, I really am. But I mean, this, so, this place is not an easy, easy place to throw down your argument. But, I mean, but, to say there's but, no but intellectual people, you know, intellectual, you know, might in this room is 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 absolutely ridiculous. People come to this room with their arguments and never come back because they got such a beating. You know, no they way. have to reconsider no, their all. life. They absolutely, no. Mill. They do. No way. No you way. You have to Why? write them off. Never to happened. To write Never them happened. off. To write them off would be to say that there's something that the you know flat Earth has presented that the globe hasn't answered, and I Show don't think you can present that. Show me a flat Earther that's been dispatched from this room. Hey, no, 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 many no, from twenty four no, seven. No, no, no. Many from twenty four seven thought that what? thought that they could come here because you know people like quantum erasers talked about this room being like nothing and Hang you know right. everyone's just a nasa fun boy and then they Smart come here with with you know with that idea and they get spanked so don't write this room off this room is no joke go ahead branch what were you saying 
What the fuck are you getting? Oh, sorry, Waz. Yeah, let's get back to let's get back to Branch because he has he hasn't said a word tonight. I was just saying, um, Waz, why are you getting panties in a toy? It's nothing to do with you. What am I? What? Get my panties in a twist. Yeah. I'm. Uh, what makes you think I got my panties in a twist? What did I say to give that impression? You, you got all fucking mad about it and shit. What? What are you talking about? You got mad at me, bro. Like, no, I, I, like a, I didn't get mad. I just said. Yeah, you got I mad just at said, me. Your panties going to twist. No, I like just I said like posting. I just said posting that shit was your mistake. Oh. You let chemo see it. Oh. oh, so you know what happened too. Yeah, well. The conversations. So, you, you know, you, you I, know, I never talked You know what was going to happen. I never talked about it, but now obviously you know what the fuck happened, which means that back in the fucking Discord, you know, God's rooms or the war rooms, um, you guys have figured it out. I was a bad boy. Was that bad boy? No, I don't think I don't think you did anything different to what Spurs has been doing. Even listening to Merle is more exciting than you to have your little lovers tiff. Hey, we're shut not the having fuck a lovers up, tiff, man. You don't, you don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. Thanks, McFud. Look, conversations get pulled away from the point so often here. I'm allowed to do it once. All right. Happens to me all the time. Hey, you fucking... And that's my little crybaby for the moment. I vouch for Waz in that one, man. He does get robbed more than most. <clears throat> nah, what was was has a way of just interjecting when he wants to. Because he has that's that true. voice. He's like, hello, Branch. Oh, shit. Branch, that's like the that's like the crow calling the dove black. No, but I mean you don't have that voice, Cole Show, but like when Was wants to interject, he <coughs> That's like you calling me a curry muncher, mate. It's not gonna fly. <laughs> yeah, but you just you just hear like fucking his voice, right? And people sh- shut up. They're like, okay, it's Was talking. Like, but just, I thought you were a curry muncher. I will say something, bro. Pe- people um, hear my voice and they think it's a cute <laughs> to talk. Right, just get on point. You, man. Have, that. you have a little such bit of a curry muncher. Hey man, look, look, look. Don't be calling me a curry man, bitch. I'll throw some curry in your fucking eyes. <laughs> in fact, this is productive. No, no, I said I was a curry muncher, brunch. I love curry. I eat it quite a lot. Nom 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 nom. Gay. Anyway, as we were. Just to clarify, one. that's not a racist offensive curry, term, is it? It's, it's, it's not, not racist. It's not racist if you're Indian or Sri Lankan. A mad It's not racist if fucking he's telling me I'm a curry muncher. What if you had curry for dinner? Does that make you a curry muncher? Yes. Because you know what? You know what? It'll be totally racist if some white guy says it though. Or or, or you can be Pakistani as well. Yeah, yeah. Or Bangladeshi. And or the other countries. Or Thai. Maybe or any other curry munching countries. I know that's curry. Nepalese, Burmese. Yeah. Tibetan. Just don't be fucking a white cunt. Don't be a white cunt. Be like, hey, you can't walk up to as a Branch, white stop shouting, man. I'm just, just saying, as a white a person, bit, or... as a white person, you can't walk to someone else and be Very like, nice. hey, what's up, curry muncher? They'll fucking up, smack up, your ass. <laughs> yeah, white people got it real bad. Up. They can't say anything. They they are they really can't say anything. Well, you yeah, can call say. each other powder puffs. That's fine. That's right. Yeah, you can they do can, that. They can say some things, but uh, there's a question in the chat from uh, actually from CB. I think it's a it's an important question. He's asked about Chris Lale. I heard somebody what had that? seen him. What somebody that? seen him what in one that? of the chats. Somebody seen him in one of the chats, or um, has nobody seen him? Because I haven't seen him in here in like, three weeks. Has anyone uh, messaged him to see if he's okay? Somebody said they saw him on YouTube a few days ago, but I wasn't sure. What, what, who, who are you talking about? C- so he was in the server Lyle, just Lyle. under a week ago, over a week ago. Oh fuck! You said you saw him. Uh, uh, let's call you Cipher Man, Sheeple. 
Someone typed, I'm pretty sure someone typed seen Leo and it said a week ago and that was a few days ago, so he's been oh. back. I no? typed it and it said two weeks ago. Oh, okay. No, Leo was last seen on 16th of March, a week ago, it says here. Hey, this on a week? That's more than a week. Yeah, that's, uh, Something's wrong with the bot. It's been a week, who, who, who saw Lael on YouTube? Shoddy bot well, description, that's what I blame it on. Let's find this fucker because uh, he's a good dude. Why don't you just message him? And that's what I asked. You see yeah, that, Kosho? Too easy, guys. Don't, don't be silly. That's bet because no one's it's messaged less than two him. weeks and it's a, a fine line divide between the metric. It's like, that's, that's what I see. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll accept that explanation. So 13 days, 13 days is not two weeks, therefore it's only one week on the metric. That's what I've got. Does this shitty bot, mate? You need a bit more, shitty bot needs more detail. You need more days. Yeah. Does that scene bot work on every Who server? Who wrote the scene that... bot? That's a fucking, it's a popular bot, man. It's not mine. You need to tweak it, dude. Hack the bot. Maybe he's got it on. Speaking of hacking, either. where's Tao been? Tao's still not yeah. back yet. Over there, off on, on some romantic getaway. You, you you ran away from that bot responsibility almost as fast as Merle ran away from the southern point of rotation question. Oh, when are you going to stop gatekeeping? You're not online right now. Talk about the real stuff. Um, actually, I am online now because otherwise you couldn't hear me. I mean, online, <laughs> like streaming to YouTube, like where people can hear you gatekeeping fucking sorry ass bullshit. Um, because I don't really care whether no, people are listening no, to YouTube or not. No, I don't do it no, for that. I don't, no. I'm not here to self-aggrandize myself. No. What do you think about taking this entire chat down to a just let's bring the whole chat down a level mm -hmm. and be chill be chill you know yeah yeah let's be chill all right let's stop getting Monkey all fucking it's hacked towel that's why he's not here yeah so bo can you answer a question for me please yeah mate what's 3d Three D is they'll say it's width, breadth and height. Or you could say forward, back, up, down and left and right. So you know like the XYZ? If you're doing animation, you have to click on a button that's basically a cube to make it three D. But uh there's lots of different ways to explain it, but um if Two two Ds like they're flat shapes, so like triangles and circles and stuff. But if you look at the physical reality, like a tree, a tree is three D. You know, a car's three D, a dog's three D. We're three uh, D. Yeah, but they have another dimension as well, don't they? Oh, mm. cars, trees. Yep. What's that other dimension? Time. Oh, time. So 4D. You're talking about 4D now. Shit's getting weird in here. Well, they well, also the have fourth, the fourth dimension. I, I, well. The way I understand it, exactly. the fourth dimension, it depends on what you're invoking. So time is when we're still talking about, you know, space and, you know, its effects. But I didn't think that time was the fourth dimension in a fourth dimensional geometric shape. I don't think that's correct. Okay. Tesseract. Mm. Time isn't involved in the Tesseract shape, yeah. Well, I'm trying to work out how this world is a 3D world. I mean, surely if it was a 3D world, it would need another dimension like substance or density. No, no, or... Because we've got height, we've got length, we've got breadth, as Mel correctly said. That gives us the three dimensions of space to work within. And we can have objects that occupy all three of those dimensions. Yeah, 
whatever. But it's not not a good description of a three D world, is it? If you just say it's three D. Well, no. I mean, that's just saying that we live in a world with high breadth and depth. Exactly. So it's not a good description. But what? it is a description. It's yeah. just a very broad one. Yeah. What, I agree. What would be a better description? I thought what he said well, was fine. In... Yeah, but that, that's when you get into specific attributes, though, isn't it? Well, so we could start no, talking I... about the height of an object and its ability to maintain that height due to its structural integrity and stuff like that, and we can get into the weeds. Well, I think McFudd un- unmuted because something in him went, no, and I'm going to unmute now and let you know why no. But but what what would what would be better like what would be a better description, or a more accurate one? No, again, I mean broad, broadly speaking, not we you, live in a three D world. Not you, champion. Oh, sorry, McFad. Sorry, go on, mate. I was just trying to understand Mel's description of where we live. That's all. Yeah. Okay. I still think you'd be hard past to find a flat earther who doesn't think the world is three D. <laughs> Have you explained uh, the 3D plane yet, Merle? Hey? Have you explained the 3D plane? No. Would you like to? Well, see, I, I don't, I don't know if everybody's done this, but. And you've heard this before, like, oh, I was a globe head too once. But basically, all that saying is that <clears throat> you had a picture in your room of planet Earth, and you used to look at it and go, oh, cool, that's where I live, that's that's home. And then when this flat Earth thing comes along, that you go back like a Mandela effect, and you look at the poster, and you're like, oh, is that real? Maybe it's not real. So if it's not that, what could it be then? And that's sort of where it starts. And Della Effect might be no poster at all. There you go. But that's why I got, I personally got to the, the ground floor because I'd see it too. You'd see like all the planets, right? Like, like a normal solar system and then just like a flat Earth. <laughs> Like in space, like a flat disc, like a frisbee, and I was like, "That just looks stupid." So it it takes a while too to potentially get out of being in space. I don't know. Not everybody's done that, because why would you? You're not a yeah, lunatic. Well, right? how do you reconcile the images we have of planets to your shape that you want this planet to be? How, how do I reconcile like all the beautiful space photography done by humans and observations and observatories, sorry, the word I was looking for there? Ah, uh, oh, I think it's all up there, McFud. And we're just I think an ex- you really can. We're just a fantastic exception to that. Is that how you see it, Mel? Yeah, or well, I mean, is it. Is it illogical to think that because of the shapes that are above us that we have to be that shape as well? No, it's not. It's logical to think that, not illogical. Okay. Well, I think anyway, personally, I mean, you have a different opinion, which is fine. Well, I I didn't. I was uh, I was somebody who was really on board with the whole thing. I don't. This is what I mean when I say to the room. Sometimes you guys don't know who I am. What I'm saying is I don't think you realise how much of a globe head I was, and how much I had to struggle with my own cognitive dissonance to get that globe out of my head. That was hard. That's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life. 
Well, Carl, I've been listening to you speak for a while. What shape is the planet? You've danced all around it, but you seem to refuse to say it. I just think it's a floor, dude. Like a ground floor. A square. Could be a With... diamond. It's just a floor. A platform. Oh. With fucking mountains and valleys and rocks and water and trees and all that stuff. Just like you see it. But it's just not a sphere. It's just a floor. I apologize for the stupid question. I was just getting frustrated. That's good. It's a good question. Straight to the point. Hey, um, Babs, are you still here or are you just listening or sleeping? Well, he said he was going to go to onto YouTube if it was back up, so he might not be here. He's probably signing off. Uh, it might not be relevant to anybody, though, really. It was just about Gem Panda's uh, pillar, pillar Earth. Because he had an idea that the Earth, if the Earth were flat and gravity existed, uh, it could possibly uh, still have gravity with mass attracted mass if there was like a large enough pillar where the center of gravity was far away enough that it was making things seem almost like it was acting downward. <clears throat> but uh, I was just thinking about it, and even if you had that pillar Earth, it would still be a two sided, like it'd be a flat Earth and a pillar, but there would still be another side. So. I don't think it's. Uh, I, think there's, I don't think it works. Well, if it's a flat plane, it could well, be very super dense material, with. couldn't it? it then is it would work. Just a, a simple solu- or a single solution, you know, to a single problem that doesn't work with anything else, even if it did work on its own. Say that again. I think he's just trying to give an example of like oh. one way that like something like that in in itself. You know, could work. It's definitely not intended to be something that somebody like Merle should take and run with, and say, "Ah, this is the basis of my model." Yeah, you're right. You know, I I realized earlier because I've I've gone into twenty four seven and they were all bored and wanted someone to pretend to be a glober, and then Flat Earth Data pretend wanted to pretend it was uh, he was a cylinder earther, and then um, they all like, "Yeah, yeah, do it." And so he did it, and I thought it was the dumbest thing ever. But I think somebody earlier, um, I think somebody earlier was saying that the cylinder Earth is actually the the same idea. I think of the pillar Earth, like the Earth on top of the pillar. But yeah. Well, a cylinder Earth could work if we're inside the cylinder. That would work okay. Yeah, but no, then you'd have not. two. Yeah, you'd have two walls. <laughs> That's again ad hoc, um, and I mean it's very limited. It doesn't yeah. work. No. I'm interested in the plate theory. Um, I don't even know what to call it, but just star plates. Sorry, mm-hmm. Kev. Are you talking about the star plates, Kev? Star- well, it's more than stars, isn't it? True, true. The, I don't even. I feel, are the clouds? Are the clouds in the atmosphere? Or are they on the plates? No, they're below the plates. Because the stars are never below the clouds, are they? That'd be weird. Now, see how you this... answered that, Moral. That was brilliant, beautiful. Let's get Love more you. of that, okay? Yeah. This, this star plate subject, I feel, deserves some sort of um, big band introduction, an orchest- <laughs> orchestral. Sorry, go on. Hey, Merle, you're going to go on Nathan Oakley today. You could introduce your star plate theory on Rose Darwin at the same time. <laughs> that was a bit of fun, was it, Mel? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was funny. You know, you know why that happened? Did you catch that, Dasta? Yeah, it was great. It was like a highlight of this, uh, this whole year. <laughs> and Nathan in there having to bloody try and douse it all the time. What an idiot. Should have just let it go. Yeah. I went oh, over to his channel. JJ posted hit him live. I went over to see. Sorry, Curved. I'll be really quick as I can. And I saw what was going on. Him just like looking at the screen. And I was like, oh, no, this doesn't look good. Said, oh, hey, Arwen, hope you're all right here if you need me. And he just like, it was like he just was like, and he just 
blocked me and then was all like, a child of Satan. It was all this, like, oh, this is fucked. So I just, yeah, got triggered. Had to go have a word. You should That's go on again people, today. Are people giving you shit because you've come out as a Satanist, apparently, Merle? Ah, this is it. This is the third time I've been called a Satanist this week. Oh, the fourth. Fourth. Thanks. Uh, I got you. Go for, for a fifth. But no, yeah, what with Don Gia, it started with. Who's calling you that and why? What's up? What's behind that? Any idea? I have no idea. Well, Brenda was in the after show over at Oakley's and that Don Geo was trying to hold the room, if you will. And they were, Brenda was challenging Stacey B about God, saying if you, when you hear God, how do you know that's God talking to you? And then she's being reasonable. And then something happened where they said, oh, Brenda, do you want to accept God and Jesus into your heart? And then they said, say it. And then she said it. And then they were all going, amen and amen. And oh, I just, I don't know, I got triggered. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it, Merle. I mean, being a Satanist is a perfectly legitimate religious belief. You know, don't worry about it. I don't think I'm a Satanist. I just get triggered by... The Jesus stuff and all the amen <laughs> and bless you and I don't know. Uh, I There's something see. cringy about it. What do you say when someone sneezes, Mill? Exactly. What do you say? To... <laughs> <laughs> damned. Damned be you. No, I, I don't. I really, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I just, I, I've got nothing against people who are, the Bible from what I've seen of it, is like a strong, solid book. And I've been to church. I've heard people in there do their thing and throw down, like, you know, like a pastor giving his sermon. I've been there live, heard the choirs sing, looked at the stained glass windows. So it's cool. I'm just, I'm not there to douse it or anything, and I'm not into Satan either, really. I just, I'm open to that story too, but I don't take it all too seriously. I think there's other shit going on that's a bit <clears throat> controversial, but not everyone wants to talk about that sort of stuff. Do you think that Brenda was serious, though? After all the things she said against the idea of God and all the rest of it, that... She wasn't just mocking them? I think some people are genuinely starting to think about it. To be no, Brenda. Yeah. That's what Do I you mean. think she was actually genuine after all she said, or she was just basically going through the whole thing that they asked her to? She's, she's either just trolling them or she was genuine, so it's, it's one or the other. It's a hell of a turnaround. Mm. And the fact that they then, you know, Maybe you picked it, like I told you the other day, maybe you picked up on the f the f kind of the fakeness of it all. You know, one minute they're against her and then one minute, you know, they're amen, amen. So, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you I picked up on the it. fakeness. No, I just shouldn't have said anything. Sometimes the best thing to do is mute. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's tricky not to get involved when people around you start amen and, and blessing you it's the sort of situation you can back out of really easily yeah i've got to i've got to learn to do that more and more just remember the bible before you try to remove a log from your brother's eye first remove your own log from your own eye mm -hmm. yeah kind of keeps us like humble is, yeah, I'm is star plates in the an Bible? Angel. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the star plates for me is, and I've thought a lot about this privately. Um, you know, like say with a chandelier, if you're, if you're looking underneath a chandelier, 
there's st- all the bits of the chandelier, like the bits of crystal or glass, are still connected to the chandelier itself. They're not just there suspended in space. So when I look at the sky, um, I've always sort of wondered that too, like what what's keeping them up there? I know all the the story, okay? But just functionally and practically, I'm just looking at it. Like, and then I just it sort of just clicked when I was like, well, what if they're, what if they're connected to something solid? And that turns like a wheel. And that's just sort of what it looks like, especially with the time you, lapse. You may be onto something, Mel. You may be onto something. <clears throat> when you lose small mind, you free your eyes. And Mel, uh, I'm not. I'm not trying to fucking joke. I don't care. It's no, I like think it. what we're about the. If you want the, and I was thinking, I was actually trying to say it in a different way. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean <laughs> what what they're saying though, Branch, like you know that story, right? That it's all they're all light years away and their sons the red shift and the blue like you've heard all that stuff too, right? Yeah, I mean, but I also think that you've heard all the stories too where mm. you know, us people we're just waiting to be enlightened. Like, if you look at everyone, um, all they fucking need is to fucking tell someone to say, hey, bro, you know what's up? Remember why you was fucking happy in the first place. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, exactly. Like, we we as people, we've forgotten what we, what we fucking, what we, when we as children, what we build up so much time doing was to find this amount of happiness we did by playing little games, using our imaginations and shit. And it was fucking great. 